The Euphrates River has been drying up, unveiling a hidden cave beneath its depths. This cave has just been sealed up, and the reason? They've made a discovery that could change history. Join us on an exciting journey to uncover the secrets of this ancient, underwater world. Number 15. The Terrifying Sounds the Euphrates River, a historic lifeline for civilizations, has been steadily shrinking, revealing the complexities of water management and the fate of societies in the area. Long ago, Babylon wisely used the Euphrates for water transportation, recognizing its pivotal role. However, following the Treaty of Lausanne, controlling and sharing the river's water became a pressing issue among nations. An agreement between Turkey and Iraq in 1946 laid the groundwork for managing the river, but self-interest took precedence. Turkey, Syria, and Iraq each constructed dams to tap into the Euphrates for their own needs, creating a stark contrast in water distribution. The once majestic river now stands as a mere shadow of its former self, leaving downstream areas, notably Iraq, parched and struggling. Meanwhile, upstream regions benefit from hydroelectric power and economic growth due to their dam projects. Tensions escalated, leading to conflicts, with Iraq even threatening to demolish Syria's dam in desperation for more water. International intervention helped prevent immediate crises, but the insatiable thirst for water overlooked its finite supply and the necessity for responsible management. Consequently, the consequences have been dire. The once robust river, visible even from space, continues to dwindle, exacerbating drought, wilting crops, and leaving communities thirsting for a sip of water. The 9 million Syrians residing near the Euphrates face a looming threat, as they lack viable alternatives. The river, once a source of life and fertility, has transformed into a source of hardship and despair. This plight seems to be the underlying cause behind the Euphrates depletion. Number 14. Tomb of King Gilgamesh There's a hidden secret lying under the Euphrates River that takes us way back to the time of King Gilgamesh. He was this super-famous ruler from a place called Uruk ages and ages ago. His story's not like your usual tale. The epic story about Gilgamesh was written a crazy long time ago, like 2,000 years before Jesus was around. It talks about this huge king, like super tall, 17 feet tall. Imagine that. So, in 2003, these adventurers found this old tomb they thought might belong to giants from back then. And guess what? They found these giant bones and stuff. They checked them with some tests to see how old they were. Some people suggest this might actually be where Gilgamesh was laid to rest, but not everyone's sure if it's for real. Some people think it's made up. See, the story of Gilgamesh is about this powerful ruler who had lots of battles, but then things got really sad. His friend died, and that changed everything for him. He started wondering about life and what really matters. This big discovery made people rethink whether Gilgamesh was just a story or if he was a real king after all. Number 13. The Islamic Prophecy a lot of people think the Euphrates River drying up could be proof that what was predicted in Islamic teachings might come true. In these teachings, it's said that the Euphrates will one day dry up. They believe that when it does, there will be some incredible stuff revealed, like a mountain of gold hiding under its waters. This prophecy comes from stories passed down from Prophet Muhammad in Hadiths. The idea of a mountain of gold popping up is a big deal. It's supposed to mean loads of wealth and abundance. Finding a huge stash of gold might sound awesome, but there could be some serious problems too. Whenever there's been a big discovery of valuable stuff before, it's caused fights and issues over who gets what. It could mess up how things work economically and even cause conflicts between countries. Number 12. Bible's Prophecy in the Bible, there's this thing written about the Euphrates River for when the world is coming to an end. It talks about this angel pouring something on the river, making it dry up. That's kind of happening now with the Euphrates River drying up fast. But wait, there's more in this book called Revelation. It talks about some really scary stuff, like four angels being set free from the dried up river. These angels are supposed to cause a lot of trouble and chaos, taking out a big chunk of people on Earth during the end times. It's pretty intense and seems like a wild story to those who don't follow the Christian faith. But here's the thing. Some weird things have been noticed near the Euphrates River, making people wonder if these old writings might have some truth. Whether or not you believe in these predictions, the Euphrates River and the things found underneath it have a mysterious link to the beliefs of millions of people worldwide. Number 11. The Figurines and Ritual Objects 
The caves hiding under the Euphrates River are full of amazing stuff that tells us about the people who lived there, like writings, religious things, and special objects. These discoveries have helped researchers learn about their beliefs and rituals. The river itself was really important to these folks. It wasn't just water to them. They thought rivers were super sacred, like they meant life and fertility. Being close to the river... The cave might have been a special place for religious events and rituals. People believed caves were like doors to the spirit world, where they could connect with divine powers and ancestors. The things found in the cave, like inscriptions and symbols, give us clues about their religious beliefs and ceremonies. Maybe the cave was a spot for ceremonies, prayers, and offerings because of the river's special powers. The echoes and darkness in the cave probably made these rituals even more special. It's kind of like how Hindus see the Ganges River as holy. Number 10. The Ancient City The Euphrates River holds a treasure trove of history spanning diverse eras – Sumerian, Assyrian, Greek, Byzantine, and Islamic. An incredible revelation came to light during Iraq's severe drought, prompting the partial drainage of a dam to salvage crops. What emerged astonished everyone. An entire city, submerged for over 3,400 years, finally resurfaced. This city, unseen for millennia, belonged to the ancient Mitanni Empire, predating the birth of Christ. While glimpses were caught during a previous drought in 2018, the recent exploration uncovered much more. The Mitanni Empire once stood tall, a significant player competing with Egypt in ancient times. However, it eventually succumbed to the Assyrians fading into abandonment. This incredible find offers valuable insights into the dynamics between these ancient empires, shedding light on their interactions and historical significance. Archaeologists are meticulously studying this hidden city, preserving its heritage to ensure future generations can delve into its lessons from the past. This discovery opens a window into ancient civilizations, enriching our understanding of their lives and legacies. Number 9. The Truth Behind Euphrates Drying the famous Euphrates River has been drying up for a long time, showing us how important managing water is for civilizations in the area. Back in the day, Babylon knew how crucial it was to control water flow for their success, using the Euphrates as a water highway. But things got tricky when countries had to share the river's water. Turkey, Syria, and Iraq each built dams for themselves, causing big problems downstream. The once mighty river became just a fraction of what it used to be. Downstream areas like Iraq suffered, while upstream regions grew rich from their dams. It got so bad that conflicts broke out, with threats to demolish dams just to get more water. Other countries had to step in to stop a crisis, but the trouble didn't end there. Everyone wanted more water, without thinking about how limited it is. Now, the river's shrinking, the land's drying up, and communities are struggling for a drop of water. Millions of Syrians near the Euphrates are in danger because they don't have other options. The river that once gave life now brings hardship and suffering. That's the sad story behind the Euphrates drying up. Number 8. The Ancient Cave of Zakiku When they stumbled upon the sunken city, everyone's curiosity peaked. Was this the fabled Zakiku, the beating heart of an ancient realm that once thrived during the Mitanni Empire's reign? This city held sway across vast lands, a mighty force in its time. But clashes with the Egyptians and the ascent of the Assyrians brought about its downfall. Zakiku stood abandoned, swallowed by the sea's embrace. However, it seems like this lost city is making a comeback of sorts. What's caught everyone's attention is this mysterious cave, concealed for ages, now gradually revealing itself. For archaeologists and history enthusiasts, this discovery is a treasure trove, unveiling secrets from the distant past. It feels like embarking on a whole new adventure, diving into the depths of a forgotten world waiting to be rediscovered. Number 7. Daily Life of Zakiku People Expert teams of archaeologists meticulously explore every artifact, structure, and geological feature in Zakiku, an ancient city. Each discovery sheds light on the vanished civilization, unveiling details about their daily life, social order, and economic practices. Even the smallest findings, like pottery shards, tools, and personal belongings, offer crucial insights into their crafts, technology, and way of life. But Zakiku's significance isn't just about its artifacts. Its proximity to the mighty Euphrates River paints a clear link to the ancient inhabitants. This river was their lifeblood, providing water for irrigation and fertile lands that supported a flourishing agricultural society. 
With abundant crops, the city's economy thrived, fostering a rich cultural and social tapestry. Among the discoveries were ceramic vessels housing cuneiform tablets, ancient written records offering a direct glimpse into the ancestors' daily routines. Some tablets bore seal impressions, one belonging to a significant figure from the nearby town of Turka. This connection highlighted his authority, prompting scholars to delve deeper into his life and the society of that era around the 18th century BCE. As these tablets were decoded, a captivating microhistory emerged. The texts unveiled not just the experiences of the affluent, but also the challenges faced by individuals. Number 6. Tunnels As the waters of the famous Euphrates River retreated, an extraordinary find came to light. Tunnels hidden beneath its depths. These ancient passageways boast impeccable craftsmanship and well-designed staircases, a marvel for historians to behold. The question arises, who constructed such an astonishing feat? According to some Christian prophecy believers, these tunnels lead to the confinement of angels. However, a broader consensus dismisses this theory. Historical texts seem to suggest that these mythical tunnels once linked Babylon and Mesopotamia. The recent appearance of these tunnels seems to validate these accounts, sparking a newfound interest in uncovering hidden historical truths. The tunnel walls, adorned with robust architecture and fine craftsmanship, hint at a forgotten civilization. In certain historical traditions, these tunnels are tied to the legendary Queen Semiramis. The discoveries corroborate ancient writings, bridging the gap between myth and reality. The emergence of these ancient mysteries due to the drying of the Euphrates River promises to illuminate secrets of our past. Regarding recent reports, subscribers are intrigued by the discovery of caves and tunnels and the eerie sounds within. One cave under the Euphrates has been sealed due to an unprecedented find, a bizarre creature unlike any known before. Its enormous mouth and serpent-like tongue fuel speculation about its nature, whether it's a fish, a reptile, or something entirely different. Could this creature be responsible for the unsettling sounds heard in the depths? Or might there be even more perilous beings lurking within these subterranean passages, waiting to reveal themselves? The subscribers are invited to share their thoughts on this intriguing discovery. Number 5. Languages, Script, and Paintings Scientists have made extraordinary discoveries within these ancient rooms, unearthing inscriptions, writings, and captivating artwork that holds the secret of the past. It's like a journey back in time, a direct glimpse into the hearts and minds of our ancestors. These findings are a treasure trove for historians. The inscriptions offer first-hand accounts of how people in that region lived. Translating these inscriptions and examining the stunning pictures feels like time travel providing essential pieces to solve the puzzle of history. They not only bridge gaps in our understanding, but also lay the groundwork for future studies. Every bit of writing, from cave walls to intriguing artifacts, tells a story. The inscriptions are a goldmine of knowledge, ranging from communication and literature to ancient intellectual pursuits. The scholars delve into administrative records, legal decrees, and inventory, shedding light on Zakiku's governance and economic systems. But there's more to these discoveries. They provide insights into social structures, political organization, and daily lives. Analyzing these records reveals people's occupations, relationships, and the complex workings of society. Among these inscriptions, religious texts and songs give us a peek into the spiritual beliefs and practices of ancient Zakiku. They illuminate the city's pantheon of deities and the beliefs that shaped the lives of its people. The cave's artwork is nothing short of mesmerizing. Engravings and sculptures depict scenes from daily life, mythical tales, and historical events in intricate detail. These artworks stand as visual testaments to Zaikiku's rich cultural heritage and artistic traditions. By studying these creations, researchers can decipher the aesthetic, symbolic, and artistic techniques used by the skilled ancient residents. Moreover, exploring this cave provides a link to broader historical events in neighboring cultures. The cave's artwork unravels untold stories and enriches our understanding of Zakiku's role in history, from conflicts and wars to pivotal events that shaped their past. In essence, these discoveries within Zakiku's ancient walls are not just relics, they are windows to a vivid and captivating world that once thrived, offering profound insights into our shared human history. Number 4. The Fertile Crescent 
The Euphrates River was like a cradle for the rise of civilizations, particularly in a region known as the Fertile Crescent, a wide stretch of land nestled between the Tigris and Euphrates rivers. This area, Mesopotamia, meaning land between the rivers, was a hotbed for the earliest farming communities, setting the stage for the grand civilizations that followed. Picture this vast plain between two great rivers, the Tigris and the Euphrates. It was Mesopotamia where humans first tilled the soil and laid the groundwork for civilization. This region, part of the larger Fertile Crescent, extending from the Persian Gulf to the Mediterranean Sea, birthed the concept of agriculture. The ancient Mesopotamians cherished this land, thanks to the river's yearly floods that brought fertile soil called silt, perfect for planting crops. However, these floods also posed challenges, wiping away entire villages and leaving the desert beyond the rivers parched. Yet, the resourceful Sumerians who settled in Mesopotamia ages ago didn't let these challenges hinder them. They employed innovative agricultural techniques like irrigation, creating a network of canals to bring water from the rivers to distant fields during dry seasons. They also introduced the plow, making planting seeds more efficient. With these advancements, the surplus of food emerged, leading to a population boom. Around 3,000 years before the birth of Christ, the first cities like Uruk, boasting about 40,000 residents, began to emerge. These cities became bustling hubs of trade, thriving on fertile lands but lacking wood, stone, and metals. The enterprising Sumerian traders ventured to far-off lands, bartering surplus grain and wool for precious resources. This trade enriched the city-states, making Mesopotamia the cradle of the world's first civilizations. Mesopotamia's legacy as the birthplace of civilizations remains unmatched. As the Euphrates dries up, it reveals remnants of ancient civilizations like Babylon. Babylonians, drawing nourishment from the river for their crops and daily life, built structures along and within its banks. These archaeological remnants, like houses, offer glimpses into how the Babylonians thrived alongside the river. In essence, the story of Mesopotamia and the Fertile Crescent is a testament to human resilience and ingenuity. The rivers that once shaped the civilizations are now revealing more about our ancient past connecting the dots and completing the tale of this cradle of human civilization. Number three, building, ceramic vessels, and cuneiform tablets. As droughts continue in the area, new archeological treasures have emerged from the once hidden depths of waterways. Among these, historians found remarkably well-preserved buildings in the ancient city, uncovering an industrial complex surrounded by massive walls and towers. This discovery is quite astonishing, because despite the structure's age and long submersion, they remained relatively intact. One particularly impressive find was a multi-story storage structure within this complex. This massive magazine was evidently crucial to the people of that ancient culture, likely used to store items from across the region. What amazed historians even more was the preservation of the building stuff, made from sun-dried mud walls over 3,000 years old. Despite some damage from earthquakes around 1350 BC, the building stands firm. Interestingly, the top portions of the walls are wearing away, but this rubble might have protected the lower sections from water damage. The excavation site unearthed several remarkable discoveries. Among these, the most incredible find was five ceramic vessels holding over a hundred cuneiform tablets. Some of these tablets were still in their clay envelopes. It's truly remarkable to see ancient clay tablets survive so perfectly through the ages. These tablets are like windows into the history and daily life of the city's inhabitants, revealing secrets from the past that we'd otherwise never know. Number 2. Graves on the Lake the Euphrates Dam built in Syria back in 1968 brought some changes, but it also caused a few problems. It flooded many ancient sites, hiding a lot of history underwater. But if you take a look at the big Euphrates River, there's a whole story waiting to be uncovered. This area by the river holds secrets that go way back in time. It's where you can find old Christian places where monks once lived, and many burial sites. As the water levels drop and the lake becomes clearer, something amazing happens. Old cemeteries that were hidden underwater start to reveal themselves. It's like they're whispering stories that have been kept secret for ages. This discovery got historians and archaeologists really excited. Under the Euphrates water, there's a hidden graveyard that belonged to people from a time long, long ago. Now, in the part of Raqqa that used to be underwater, you can see these ancient graves. Each of these graves tells a tale and holds memories that have been preserved for centuries. 
These graves are like treasure troves filled with secrets from our ancestors. That's why historians are carefully looking around these graves for more old treasures. With time, we might uncover who these people were and get a glimpse into what their lives were like. It's like putting together a history puzzle, and each piece we find helps us understand a bit more about the past. Exploring these ancient burial sites is like reading a book written by our ancestors. Every artifact and discovery is like a chapter that teaches us something new about the people who lived long ago. And the best part is, the more we uncover, the more complete our story of history becomes. Number 1. Homo Erectus The Euphrates River has been a significant boundary between different parts of the world, shaping history with conflicts, invasions, and changes in power across Asia and North Africa. But what's even more fascinating is its role in the ancient past, where clues of human existence go way back to the time of early Homo Erectus. Imagine being by the Euphrates and finding tools and remains that belonged to our ancient ancestors. In modern-day Turkey, artifacts and traces of early Homo erectus have been discovered. One incredible discovery was a piece of a Homo erectus skull, estimated to be around 1.1 million years old, found in western Anatolia. This discovery is like a window opening into a distant time, giving us a peek at our early human predecessors and their journey through the ages. But the journey into our ancient past doesn't stop there. As we dig deeper, we're unearthing even older evidence. In central Anatolia, there's a Paleolithic site with stone tools dating back around 0.9 to 0.78 million years ago. These early humans, the Homo erectus, were of medium height and walked upright. They were different from us with lower brain cases, receded foreheads, and distinct facial features. They were the first humans known to control fire, a groundbreaking achievement that happened around a million years ago. They adapted to their surroundings, navigating landscapes, and using stone tools to thrive in their environment. It's like piecing together the story of humanity's earliest chapters, imagining how these early humans survived and evolved. Alrighty folks, that's a wrap for this video. We hope you find it informative and enjoyable. So, what do you think about the prophecies linked with the drying up of the Euphrates River? Share in the comments below. Moreover, if you appreciate our content and wish to stay updated on our latest releases, we encourage you to subscribe to our channel and activate the notification bell. Your support means the world to us. Thank you for tuning in and until next time, stay curious and keep exploring.